know, George and AJ, it, I don't know about you, Patricia, is uh, kind of an awkward one for me. Like, it's uh, so it takes place after um, Carl Fredrickson, you know, obviously launches the balloons and launches his house into the air, and obviously they're shocked about it. And, uh, you know, they just go through this whole scene of, like, you know, their frozen faces and everything like that. So it kind of reminds me of, uh, you know, the, uh, the the character out of Cloudy, the chance of meatballs when he finally sees, like, the, you know, the, uh, the, the, the all the food fly coming out of the sky. But, um, yeah, it just, um, for me, um, it just, uh, I don't know, like, it, the, the animation is janky, and I get it's probably just for the extra for the DVD, but, uh, and I don't know, like, uh, there were some entertain there were some, like, creative aspects to this, but, uh, I don't know, I'm not a fan of the way, like, the whole animation goes in this. You know, yeah, like, like here's the thing. Like we mentioned this in the Up Picks Mix episode that we knew that there were multiple shorts that came with the DVD. One was Doug's Special Mission, which we talked about yesterday. And then we have this one, George and AJ. And we knew about it, but we had no idea what it was about. And so we thought it was going to be like the other extras because, you know, we've seen the other extras like Mr. Incredible and Pals and, um, you know, a lot of the others. And we've enjoyed those. Yeah, but, but, but Mr. Incredible and Pals made sense because obviously it was like it was old animation that was basically was animated very badly. It was basically clutch cargo. Like, uh, you know, back in the day. But, I mean, for this, like, uh, it just feels like basically all they did was just paint the storyboards and just kind of said, oh, hey, this is a short, you know? Uh, it definitely looks unfinished. Mm -hmm. and, and not only that, but it doesn't even sound like they got the same voice actors as in the... Um, oh, they definitely didn't. Uh, you know, like, uh, what should we, the, the, this, the kid sounds like he's, like, you know, like, aged 12 years. From the sounds of it. he doesn't even say <laughs> Mr. Even Fredrickson. Mr. Fredrickson. I know he's like he's like smoked like a like a ten packs before he's like got back into the voice <laughs> studio. <laughs> he's like Mega Man and Captain and the Game Master. I know exactly. <laughs> it's just it's it's crazy, isn't it? So so the voice acting is off. The animation isn't there. But mind you, the one thing I will give it credit for, there was some like creative things that uh, you know we were kind of making fun of, like oh hey, this is going to be like the, this was like all the ideas for like all the sequels they had. You know, if uh, if if up was like going to be like a massive success. So. Yeah, that was probably the best thing about the shorts was the all, all the creative stuff that the old people decided to do after they watched the news report about Carl Fredrickson getting a bunch of balloons and flying off. That was it. Just. And that's all they got from it's like they don't know where he went they don't know how long he flew into the air it's like who cares let's do it and so we have all of these things like you know people getting oxygen tanks and then flying off the nursing home or you know um one woman attached her cat and then they just you know uh, <laughs> dog sled it away or cat sled it away in this case so yeah all that stuff was hilarious and then george and aj are just looking at uh of themselves a, a gasp saying Oh man, what are we gonna talk tell our superiors about this? It's like we're trying to gather these people and take them to the nice nursing homes, and then all this stuff happened, and then finally they do, and then the nursing home goes away too, and they're just sitting there wondering, oh wow, what a day we've had. This cannot be any crazier than what we just went through. And then Mr. Fredrickson comes into Charles Munz's air balloon. And then George and AJ are like shocked that their that their truck was crushed by it. And then they're like, well, that's it. Nothing else can top it. And then Doug comes along and says, hi there. Yeah. And that's how it ends. Yeah. So, I mean, obviously the, there was a very creative aspect brought into this show, but uh, unfortunately it is kind of like just distract. There's so many distractions in this. Like, you know, the, uh, the voice acting is obviously, I mean, it does feel like basically they did the animatic and that what they did was that they still had like the, uh, the, you know, the, the, like the, the voices to kind of like, you know, put the animatic together and before like they do like all the voicing. You know, for that, yeah, and, you exactly. know, to get the movie right first. But uh, I mean, like, uh, it just feels like they they just slapped that together, and uh, maybe it might have been like some part of the movie that basically was t was taken out. Like, uh, we're not too sure what the ba I'm not too sure what the backstory is on this short, but uh, maybe it was it like a bunch of ideas that basically were were basically left on the cutting room floor, and they just kind of like picked them back up and just kind of like stuck them all together in this short. I have no yeah, idea. Yeah, you know what? If if that were the case, that would not be a surprise because. Um, I would have been interested to see the aftermath about like, oh, George and AJ were shocked that Mr. Fredrickson flew off and then news goes spreading around like wildfire. And then the aftermath, like we didn't even see uh, Mr. Fredrickson, you know, drive the balloon all the way back to town. 
so I mean, the only the last thing that we see of that is that you know he attends uh, Russell's um, badge um, distribution, and that was pretty much it. So I guess maybe this was supposed to be a deleted scene that they decided to like put in as an extra. Who knows? Maybe. But yeah, I mean, like uh, it's uh, there on the DVD or the Blu-ray if he decides to pick it up. So uh, and also, uh, it's I think it's on Disney Plus as well. I think. Uh, <laughs> if... I, I think it is. I think it is. Yeah, we we seem so. But uh, yeah, so if you want to check it out, check it out. But uh, as for us, we're moving on. All right. See you later.